they were expecting uh, phone calls from the different TV stations. We got some awful phone calls, calling the church and which all in were <laughs> doing up there today. And so I took a little break, just, you know, walking around the church. I went downstairs and looked out the front door. And there's a building across on the next street. And there were people on the roof of those buildings with guns pointed at the church. You don't know what they're going to do. This city has gone through a tremendous upheaval. Danville was a tough spot during civil rights. Over the years that Dr. King had said, if Birmingham had not taken its course in the summer of 63, then Danville would have been one of the major civil rights spots. There was always somebody who's willing to cross the line. And I think that may have been the magnet that drew so many people's attentions to Danville, because there were white folk who wouldn't cross the line. They didn't care about the death of other people. Hitting children and, and women with huge pieces of wood, we didn't think they would be able to do that. There was nothing that they wouldn't do. The fact of the matter is, black people were segregated from the time they were born to the time that they were buried. From birth to burial, they were segregated. 